Let's start just by breathing in and out and softening our breath, softening our bodies, softening the area around our heart and letting the breath come and go from there. And feeling the difference that it makes when we can let go of the need for anything but being right here, right now, and in each breath, and in this room, with this family, with this loving family, all these beings, and the unseen beings that we've shared the weekend with, who have also filled the room with love. And we feel that flow through us, not just in our hearts, but in our whole bodies, through our minds, in our energy fields. We feel the love. And the love rides on our breath as we breathe in and out. And we're surrounded by that beautiful field of love energy that comes to us from what we do here but it also comes from the other side of the veil to meld with us as we move more and more into our consciousness in the new energy. And for that support we receive the beautiful honoring and messages from Cryon. Greetings dear ones, I am Cryon of magnetic service. This is the end of a workshop day. I've said many times, these are different channels. Many times the messages are just for those who attend. And yet the instructions for my partner are to publish all channels, to make sure they can be heard and felt. So there are listeners that, of course, are not attendees. Some of what I'm going to say to you, dear ones, sitting in the chairs in front of me is, it's going to be appropriate also for those listening. But this is mainly for this group. There's a truth here, a beautiful one, one that's hard to, to imagine and to cognize, that God is real, that the creative source of the universe, immense as it is, is part of you. That's the plan. That's how you're wired. This is also part of the creation story, the angelic presence, if you want to call it that. It has given you the, the seed biology. The creative story is that you were given on purpose the knowledge of light and dark. And with free choice, you can choose the divine or not. It is a beautiful story that encompasses a plan. And the plan has you discovering who you are. God is real and available. And in this new energy, more than available. Perhaps even standing and waiting. What makes this so unbelievable to most of those who are humans anywhere on this planet is that it's almost an oxymoron. You believe that you are so small. How could a God care? The one who, who set the stars in motion. How could a God care? 
And yet that which is your consciousness sometime expands as big as God. And you know this, that the body that you are in, small as it might be, has a piece of the creator and a consciousness potential that is immense. That's the oxymoron. So at some level, you know I'm right. Also, at some level, you know that your soul keeps going when the body is finished. Those two things add up to a partial belief. But the message for those in front of me are this. Messages, really, are this. That each one of you is on a separate individual path and many of you are struggling with a basic concept. Not that God is real or not, but the concept is, can you apply any of this today, really, to yourself? Can you change your situation? I know who's here. And your situation could be that of that is what is occurring around you or what is happening in your life or what is happening in the cells of your body. And like so many others, the tradition, the biases, what you were told, all conspire against you. And you feel just a little apart from that which has been presented for two days. Some of you have actually crawled into your shell. I know who's here. And although you have listened and heard everything, it really hasn't gotten very far. Some of you have made up your mind that what you've heard here is for someone else in the chair, not you. It didn't seem to ring true. It didn't seem to apply. And that's because the shell that you've built around yourself is a very tough one. And the shell is of your own making, of course. You deciding in advance that you can't do it. Some of you come because you're looking for that which would penetrate the shell. And maybe at this point in time you said, well, maybe this wasn't it. Others of you, you had the information given this weekend. You saw the profundities, the beauty, perhaps even felt the compassion. And yet when you leave this place, you can't really call it your own. You can't own it. Not yet. You see, I know who's here. What gets in the way is what always gets in the way. The past. The lack of self-worth. What you were taught. What you think you know. I want to take you on a journey. And you've got to agree to fantasize with me. This is not going to work. It's not going to harm anyone here. I want you to visualize things with me and I want you to feel these things with me. That's why you came. You came for change. You came for knowledge. You came for wisdom. Perhaps an awareness, an awakening, anything that would then create a situation which, which would better who you are. So perhaps you could leave a little differently than you came. That is the purpose of being in the chair. You've invested in yourself. So why not do this final exercise in this workshop day? It's a fantasy. It's a metaphor. Some would even say it's cute. 
but it's as real as it gets. I want to introduce you to something. The fantasy has you with your own consciousness in a vision state. Some would say a dream. I say a vision. For the word vision is going to give you permission for anything to happen. Visions, unlike dreams, are remembered and feel real at the time. I invite you to step aside of yourself for just a moment. If you can, if you wish to, even if you can't, understand, acknowledge, cognize that God is here. That this message is from the other side of the veil and knows your name. And invites you to participate right now. Come with me in this vision. Step out of that which is your condition, your situation. Just for a moment, if you can. Leave your worries at the door. Just for a moment. Won't take long. What would you envision if you were standing into a room that was completely and totally blank and white? There was nothing there. And something is going to appear, and it's going to be for you. There's a door. And the door has a label on it. And the door has the label that says, Mysteries of the body. If you were making a movie, music goes here. <laughs> the door has that label because it has to be just a little. What you say, interesting and yet untouchable to some. For that is something you may not want to know. What mysteries lie beyond the door? That's the door you're going to open. We're going to open it together. And you realize in this blank room the body that they are speaking of in the sign is you. It's not about the human body. It's your name goes here, body. You're about ready to open the door of the mysteries. Now, why should you have to open a door at all? And this is one of the metaphors. There is literally a wall between you and your cells. When you look down at your body, you don't tend to greet it. You even call it by its part. You say, my leg hurts instead of I hurt. My toe hurts instead of I hurt. The pieces and the parts of your body, you're not in contact with them. There's a wall between you. That's part of what the workshop is about. How to get through the wall. Well, you're about ready to go because this door has been created for you right now, today, in this exercise. I want you to open it with me. No fear, no anxiety. You'll see why in a moment. You open the door and you see that it's a bit stubborn. You have to pull a little. Because that wall between you and your cellular structure is a tough one. Finally, the door comes open, wide open. And you start hearing that which perhaps is the sounds of the body. You're not really familiar with those sounds. One of the biggest features always is your heart. You hear that first, and then there's more. 
There's the sound of running fluids, even perhaps the snap of the synapse and the electricity. All of that. It's a little, it's a little strange. You're not ready to enter just yet. Then you realize this is just you, so why not? You walk over the threshold of this door and suddenly you're in another world. As you look forward in this metaphor, you realize you're in some kind of, for a better word, control room. You can see that which is the control of specific things in your body. You recognize it somehow. There's the heart, the brain. There's the pineal. And a few other things. You don't see the control over specific systems like you thought you might. But still, it is a control room. And then you realize something. That you're not alone. That in this control room, there's just a myriad of small entities. And you're starting to realize that they're your DNA. And then you start to see they have names on them. Little badges. <laughs> and every badge has the same name. You. You've stepped into the control room of everything in your body. You start to realize that there are an enormous number of these little entities. You're not afraid of them. They haven't noticed you yet. These little badges are all over them. On their backs, on their fronts. They've got your name. Your name is on all of them. All working together the best they can and then something happens. Something amazing happens. Everything falls silent for a moment. You hear what you might recognize and perceive as a gasp when they all realize you've entered the room. Then they turn and show themselves to you. You see that they're shocked. They're amazed. You see just for a moment they are stunned. And then there's this big smile on every single one of them when they realize the celebrity in the room is you. Suddenly they start towards you and they crowd around you. You can feel them, millions of them just touching you. So happy that you've actually entered the room. Others come in. This may seem odd. You, you hear, you feel the flash bulbs going off. Look who's here. Look who's here. He couldn't be so. The boss has arrived. They are so enamored that they get to meet you. When in human history, in the past, you never visited the room, ever, ever. And the wall was simply there, and they guessed the whole time who you were and then they back off the language of the cells you don't understand they don't speak English they don't speak French they don't speak Portuguese <laughs> they don't speak Spanish they don't speak anything but cell language and you can tell that they want to say something they have their, their hands, if you can imagine, hands on DNA. <laughs> they have their hands outstretched. Like, like they're asking a question. And then you realize that collectively, 
they're sending a message to you one question what can we do for you <laughs> from their standpoint it's been eons since the actual God consciousness of who they serve has walked into a room and they've never really had the communication they've had signals partial messages and they never met the boss and in this moment before the door closes they want to know what can we do for you what do you want what is it that we can do the vision is over because the question is only answerable by each individual hearing this message. This is real. For in this new energy, your consciousness is beginning to break the barrier and talk to the cells directly. They're starting to hear what your ears hear. They're starting to get the messages by the way you behave. Did you ever know they consider you a celebrity? Did you ever know of the frustration of the DNA? That all they hear are muffled sounds until now. What is it you're going to tell them? If you could ask for one thing. Perhaps in your situation it would be peace. Cellular peace over what is going on in your body or around you. Or perhaps you would ask for a confluence of health, balance, chemistry. What about love? Compassion. What is it that you could give them? that they could go to work on right now to create what you came for. Communication would be a good one. <laughs> this is the vision that I want you to grasp and hold and leave here with. Because it's true. I don't care how unworthy you feel. There is an entourage called you that has been waiting so long for you to talk to it. Besides all the divine and the esoteric things that you've learned, there is a body entourage. What would you say to your pineal, which talks to your higher self? That's the control room you walked into. It's the soul. It's the body. It's the innate. It's the heart and the brain. It's the triad that controls all that is that is you. And you stand right in the middle of it and you're a celebrity. Did you feel for a moment in the vision the love the body had for you? The shock and the surprise and the delight of being able to touch you. Look upon your face all of them with your name. It is time, dear ones, to make the vision real and know that nothing that has ever happened to you is going to keep you from marrying to those cells, to talking to those cells. You are worthy. You're a celebrity. Don't let anybody or anything or any situation talk you out of the truth of this feel it in your very soul as you sit there you are worthy of this so let's get going void the things that keep you from your own magnificence that's the message as it always is Feel it, know it, embrace this new group of friends. The flashbulbs are still going off.